Model is currently hinting at a, at a mesoscale convective feature developing in Alabama and then transitioning into a low pressure system as it heads across Georgia and into North Carolina after leaving Alabama. I'm going to go two hours back and see what uh, the models two hours ago said. And basically, kind of hinting at the same thing, the, the uh, Z01Z model um, also hinting at a weaker version of a mesoscale convective feature. This one is hinting that one's going to be going up to Tennessee, and then see this little little meso low right there, and then basically the remnants of that is going to go and the remnants of that is going to go into Ohio, and the secondary one, more broader and weaker one, is going to go into North Carolina and weaken. The zero two one shows this feature, this first possible mesolo going into North Carolina, but it shows the main feature is going to be the one in Alabama right now. So I'm looking at, at, at the Alabama radar, there is a little mesoscale convective feature here, a more broad one right here. Uh, you can notice it by the winds. Um, so here, uh, green means, I believe, towards the radar and um, yellows and reds and oranges mean away from the radar. So you're having a bit of a counterclockwise circulation. You're having counterclockwise swirl. You're having southeast winds here, uh, west winds here, south. So you're having counterclockwise winds here. See, you can even see how it's forming. See how the it's shifting down. That's evidence of a mesoscale convective feature. You see how the colors are changing. That is because here, you had winds going slightly more away from the radar, but here, it, the winds are not becoming neutral. That's because the winds might be going more east here. So you might be getting a swirl, something like this, a more broader circulation. So this could be a more just broad area of low pressure. Or could just be some broken feedback, and that the real circulation could just be in this vicinity right here. But there's definitely some noticeable uh, swirl with this. So I'm going to do a different view of the radar, and still noticeable uh, swirl. Some definitely pretty tight circulation here. I don't know if it's tornadic in nature, but it looks like the squalling coming through. Not severe warned as of yet. Definitely a pretty significant wind shift from southeast winds to probably most likely north or west winds. You have a surge of west winds just south of Montgomery. Uh, likely some north winds here. I'm going to go to Montgomery right now and see there's probably going to be some north and northeast winds right now. Montgomery, Alabama right now. So... Yep, they're having a thunderstorm with flash flood warnings. Let's see if anything interesting is going on there. 28 mile an hour winds. The winds have completely shifted. There's been a big shift of winds. Wind direction. Have completely shifted from... Um, In the last, so the winds are fluctuating between north and northeast. I mean, between northeast and northwest. You're having north winds right now in Alabama. See how you're having multiple colorings on both sides? Like slightly going to northwest category, uh, categories and then going into northeast. So you're having very widely fluctuating winds. So Alabama, Montgomery is right like near the low pressure system center. So... So now we're going to go south, just a little south of Montgomery, uh, more into Montgomery is on the north side of that little meso low, but now we're going to go to Tuskegee, Alabama, which I believe is going to be getting southeast winds, if I'm correct. So we're going to go to Tuskegee. My my calculations are correct, or if my, uh, my reasoning if is correct. Tuskegee will be getting some periods of southeast winds today. And that is correct. There's been recently a shift towards the northeast. So southeast winds and the east winds 
a lot of southeast winds today and then mostly and then only recently shifting to the north and that's out of Auburn Alabama so I think Tuskegee is still getting southeast winds I think Auburn is more to the west of Tuskegee because Tuskegee Alabama is located here I think that town, Auburn, I think is located a little more to the west, so probably in, so probably somewhere in this area, pro probably near somewhere near Electric. Auburn, Alabama is getting rain with north winds, maybe just north of Auburn, likely, or just northeast. Yeah, a little more to the north, which is surprising. Yeah. So they're getting northeast winds right now here, which is kind of surprising. Maybe it's uh, something else. Well, thank you for watching. Bye. Uh, but there's definitely a noticeable wind change here in Union Springs and Troy. But there's definitely a big change of wind direction just south of Montgomery. This area looks like low pressure center somewhere in this locale right here. So it looks like Union Springs is going to get a pretty big wind shift. Biggest one looks like went right through this area, just north of Troy. So just so Troy, Alabama, had some recently shifting winds. So Troy, Alabama, recently had some very very uh, strong shifting winds. Of course, thunderstorm. Um, let's see, yep, Troy, Alabama. It's probably a lot of shifting winds. Yep, winds fluctuating between southeast, west, and even going to south. So a lot of fluctuating winds, as you can see. And the pressure's going up. So it looks like the, it is a low pressure system. That is a little meso low going through. So, yep. Um, definitely a little measle going through. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.